Says, what are ways to support your husband when work slows down and it messes with his confidence? Now, nah. well, this is a very important question because. This this right below. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, you got that. <laughs> the first thing is important to know is that it is solely the responsibility of a man to care for his family even if he has less money than she has even if his assets are less even if his income is less it's still his sole responsibility to take care of her and the family. Um, and our Prophet ﷺ mentioned that in Hijjatul Wada, uh, during the, the last Hajj, Istosu bin Nisa'i Khaira, the Prophet ﷺ said, you know, he's commanding us to take good care of the women. And then he says, and upon you is nafaqatuhunna wa kiswatuhunna bil ma'roof. It's upon you to maintain or provide for them and clothe them in a manner that is ma'roof. And ma'roof comes from the root uh, arafa or al-urf, which means what is customarily acceptable uh, amongst uh, your particular uh, people. So that's the first thing. And, and I, I, it's important for us because in this particular society, that we live in is very common for people to split the bills. That's not Islam though. Um, so if you hear people like at a, before they get married and they start talking about, you know, well, how are we gonna split up the bills? That's, that's the wrong person. We, they need to be educated because the bills are not gonna be split. You're a man, you pay for the water bills and the gas bill and the electric bill and every other bill um, that is pertaining to the needs of the family. However, what does happen sometimes, and this is often the case uh, in certain communities where there was a war on men, um, and that, that happened in this country, it shouldn't be denied. Um, there, there's a war on certain Nationalities, I don't want to sound nationalistic, so I'm not going to say certain things. I already know how stuff gets cut up and sliced and diced. Um, but the reality is, is that certain people were incarcerated. Uh, their uh, women were encouraged to uh, seek government assistance. And the only way they'd be able to get that assistance is if they were not married. Um, and so it just kind of led to you know, basically women going in one direction, men going in another direction, in a split of, in a split of families. And uh, we live in a society where a lot of people, uh, based on how they live, and it's, it's not necessarily a, um, a bad thing uh, in terms of how they live, but in terms of standards, where one income just isn't enough for the family uh, to survive or to, to have, to meet their, their needs, uh, one income is not enough. It depends, obviously it depends on what kind of gainful employment the, the brother is able to have. So what do we do in a situation like that? Um, what was the question again? How can a woman support her husband? Yeah, so, that's co confidence. Yeah, that's yeah. important, that last part. Confidence. So, so in, in, this, in this situation, uh, it, it, it reminds us of the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, where his wife was going to give zakat. And he said, I have more right to that zakat than anyone else. Now, understand what's happening here. Why is his wife giving zakat? Because she has surplus wealth. He's saying he's eligible to receive zakat because his income doesn't meet his is the, the needs. And so they went to the Prophet and he confirmed what Ibn Mas'ud said. And so, and that's because a wife doesn't have a responsibility to take care of her husband. Therefore, her zakat can actually go to her husband. Whereas the husband has the responsibility to take care of his wife, so he can't give zakat to his wife or his children or something like that because he's responsible for them. And so, in this type of situation, uh, a man has to 
and, and a man has to swallow his pride. And that doesn't mean that we don't work towards what is, you know, what is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the sense that we have to take care of our families. But if you happen to be in a situation where you just really don't have those means and your wife does, then you need to communicate. And that's where it's very important. So that you can explain to her, you can talk to her about how it makes you feel. And look, I don't like the situation I'm in right now. This is not something that's pleasing to me, but this is where we are. And she can say, okay, this is what I can do. And I'm willing to do this. Let's say, let's put it, let's try to put a six month time frame, you know, time period on it. So that she's not, the, the one thing that she definitely can do that will help his confidence is not make him feel that he is less of a man because he's not providing or he doesn't have the ability to provide at that particular time. And, and to avoid what is known in Arabic as al-men, which, which is to remind somebody of the favors that you've done for them. Because this is, this is also from bad character. And we talked about the importance of, of good character and maintaining a healthy and happy marriage. So avoiding that constant reminder of what I'm doing for you. And any, even if they may disagree about something, the first thing she can't, you know, she can't just come and say, wait a minute, what do you tell you? You want all your rights. Are you paying all the bills? Mm -hmm. And you know, and then it goes into one of those things. And now, again, that's going to, you know, make him feel like less of a man because we do, well, as, as Muslims, we have a higher standard for ourselves and for our men than anybody else in this society. And, and because of that, and because of that, there can come a, a point where if we're not able to live up to that ideal, right, that standard, uh, then we may lose that confidence. But a person should never lose confidence in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his ability to bring them out of the difficult situation that they are in. Whoever has taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will make a way for uh, will make a way out for them. And he will provide for them from places that they never expected.